Hi friends, hello, hello everyone. It's your girl Risa here once again. All right, so in today's video, I would like to share five important tips for a freshman into the college or the university. So if you are watching this video, kindly stick to it as a fresher or even as a continuing student, some of these tips are really going to benefit you what are you about to complete your final watch so this video ends alright so straight into the video we all know starting college new or university so exciting and 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 it's very important step in one's life but sometimes it's it's really gets scary and, and stressing as you enter so right in this video I would like to share five tips for a freshman or a fresher who is entering into college or university. With this test, it's really going to help you um, better your first year in the university and then you know how to go your, your your ways in the first year without regretting and then seeing back like, oh, I've wasted this whole year as a fresher. I could have done this, I should have done this, but here it's too late. All right, so the number one tip out of the five important tips here is that as a freshman, you need to see everybody here on campus as important. Very important. Because out of hundreds, thousands of people you see around, these are lecturers, TAs, there's everybody involved, including our mates that we are going to sit in lecture halls with. So you just have to have in mind that everybody's important. Everybody you meet here on campus have one way or the other a bad or a good offer for you so you just have to have in mind that you give respect and equal respect to everybody including a cleaner or whatsoever you come across each and everybody has something to offer you so then when you have this in mind you will know how to approach everybody and then gain any benefit you have the chance upon it's likely you are a fresher and that's you can make friends with just everybody on campus but you just have to be picky and give that maximum respect to everybody you come across especially course mates whether they are doing your course or they are not you know when we all started or i actually had this in mind this dependency mentality or she had to i didn't really disregard people but i had this in mind that dependency mentality oh you girl you can do it i was mostly learning on my own uh, getting information on my own like doing exam times I don't study with anybody I just sit at my corner and then do things and then go and write and then get whatever grades so this is the issue you have to engage always there's one person one step ahead of you you just have to get close to the person with a free mind and then humbly get in touch so you just need to be engaged with your course mates which is really important at the end of the day whatever the lecturer teaches in class not everyone is going to get it but there are some who are really getting it who are always ahead see them they can teach you get into IA times get into exams they are going to help you solve questions with this past questions this area i think is going to come this area is not going to come so engaging brains around is really going to help so don't wait so level with and they are not coming to me friends it's going to sound like hey you all this while you work like you don't know anyone and you are not coming to do i'm going to show let me use this word so to not find yourself wanting that oh i don't have any friends i always do this i in the near future just get engaged and then don't disregard anybody around you second tip here is to be organized you know getting organized in life just make things easy as you know what you are doing today you know after waking up after brushing your teeth you had to read one or two notes so getting organized is going to make your life simple and easier here in the university or in college one way of getting organized is to get a planner you yourself sit down get and set realistic goals I mean, not just any other group by going online to see maybe how to go about a plan in a day or a week or a month as a fresher. You know how to set a realistic goal for yourself, a goal that you can go about, can be consistent and achieve it. I'm not saying being realistic. I mean, 
and don't go about setting a planner or a timer and be like you're going to wake at 3 a.m to study while you know for yourself you can't wake up at 3 a.m this is so unrealistic so you have to study yourself and then know how you go about setting your planner you can actually go get a planner book a diary like this sit down just reflect on yourself what you can do and what you can't do and try and jot down get organized also by getting your timetable on a note i mean note it and then paste it close to your bed so another way of getting organized is to um get used to note taking system i mean as lectures are about to be you need to take this really serious don't just attend the lecture hours because others are using digitized ways of taking notes fine that also helps but it it, it it really helps you more when you come back sit down take notes make summaries of what that makes clear enough that you have everything in mind that so the day you can jot everything down so no taking method or summaries taking system is really important for me as i've gotten to know others number three so the third important tip out of those five tips is actively participating in any activity from your faculty and when i'm saying actively participating that doesn't mean physically going to faculty to check up no always on your phone you and i we mostly use our phones frequently go to groups and then check up important notification you can carefully skip this advertisement and everything not to skip important notices the university can just post out in groups and other stuff get to see emails if you have issues with your emails visit the school it centers so you don't miss the important notification the school gives that is one thing you must take especially when you're university of ghana mostly lectures post notifications who are student emails and if yours is not working or is not active, you have to visit the UGCS, University of Ghana Computing Systems Center, for them to fix this for you. Also, you're going to miss important notices. This actively also means that you don't have to skip tutorials. You know, there are some courses you see as you can learn on your own and then get past and get a good grade. But it will be more better if you attend a tutorials because here lies the case mostly the teacher's assistant. Do so or to explain more better than the lectures in the lecture halls so we attend tutorial for the benefits you are sometimes given areas where to study and which ones will come so that you waste time as you learning on your own thinking this will come this one step here for you guys is to this is really frustrating even for the final year students those continuing students get to 300 this is really frustrating this third fourth point don't be discouraged to drop a course you can't continue or a course that is not helping you boost your gpa says my brother just seek course advices drop that course and do what you can that will help you excel academically for you to get your gpa and at the end of the day you won't be so depressed thinking oh my god my grades are not really encouraging you know this problems leads to depression overthinking and they feel like oh they have to take out their lives because at the end of the day their parents wasted money especially those of us from poor homes and they take their lives and for this fourth point it's really serious seek course advices for your academic purpose that's the reason why you are here get to know those of your courses what they went through if this course was okay for them or wasn't okay so now you know what to choose this is really gonna help you at the end of the day you are just going to open your mis web where we post students results and you'll be smiling and don't be discouraged at all to drop the course the fake tips here that i'm finally gonna keep to fresh minds is that you need to take your health seriously honestly not just our health but our spiritual good too everything connects to the mind and then physical laptops to what we give you need to pray you need to actually participate in this church service if you're muslim to do so well but that's your spiritual activities that will really help you further so academically and everything you do is going to shape in you as well can't see your health good we all came from home you are not going to get it the same way where mommy used to cook for you or even so the dbs you you have <laughs> housemates now cook your special jello with your salads and everything here now you are alone 
so you are most likely tempted to go in for unhealthy foods i am a victim you know sometimes you get too lazy that you don't want to cook or walk all the way to the market to get food to eat so you just order few jumia boat food they bring you your chips your fries all this junky are so unhealthy even so one day you cheat with this unhealthy food stuff you need to balance it with exercising which i know every university or college have a fitness center even if there's none of these you can just utilize the walkways by walking or take shorts so taking your health serious is really going to take you far as it's going to help shaping the mind fighters i would like you all to take this test seriously and then kindly not forget about it as lectures is about to begin currently lectures are on strike now for the universities in ghana as a utah so before lectures begin i would like you guys to take this fight seriously don't forget about having fun that's the whole thing you know you as you take this test once in a while get these good friends that you can step out go to the gardens just see your feet really tension that is going to make your first year lively and when you continue with this habit you are really going to enjoy your campus Kindly subscribe to this channel now thank you guys for watching this video and I'm really grateful for this moment like and share to others who will be interested and I'll help thank you love you